guys so today's video is going to be about um candle calculation pretty much so um just starting off making candles you're you know normally you don't really know the calculations of how much wax you need how much fragrance oil you need um especially if your supplier is not telling you um how much you need for like the vessel or how much fragrance oil load it is so it can get confusing and you know just like me starting off i was a little confused but i did a lot of research and um you know i watched a whole bunch of um informative videos on youtube like my go-to channels was the memory box um candle company um jeff stanley i have a few different other ones but those are like the main two that stood out for me so basically um my last video that i posted um i know i had someone comment they were a little confused about the calculations that i was talking about um so in my head i did the calculations correctly but on camera i wasn't really saying it correctly because you know i'm just now starting out it's the nerves for me and you know working plus talking it just you know so i just actually want to just clear it up and i want to give a um a very informative video on candle calculations so you know you guys can actually know the calculations and you know you guys can get it done so right here it might look like a lot but it's really not a lot um so right up here we have the formula that we're going to be using to calculate our um our candle wax that we need and our fragrance oil that we need and all that math so that is up here and then i also have a problem already done so basically, I just want to get into it. So um, basically, you got your net weight divided by 100% plus this 10%. So right where you see this 10% at, um, you know, everybody's is not going to be 10%. So this 10% that's right here is reflecting on your fragrance oil load. So say if your candles is up to 6% fragrance load and you use that 6%, this will be 6%. But in my case, you know, I'm doing this calculation as if I'm using up to 10% on my candles. So this is that 10%. So if anybody is looking at this um, formula and they're wondering, like, do I need this 10%? This 10% right here is only if you're using up to 10% fragrance load. If you're using 8%, put an 8. If you're using 7, put a 7. You know, this is for that. So, yeah, so I just want to get into it. So we got the net weight divided by 100% plus 10%. So your net weight will be how much um, wax you need for your vessel. So if your vessel is six ounces, um, it can hold up to six ounces. That would, That's what the net weight is going to be, the six ounces. So in my case, I like using grams. I use both. I use ounces and grams. But, you know, if I want to be um, more accurate, I will go to grams. So basically your net weight will be six ounces or in my case, it'll be 170 grams, which is six ounces. So it's fine. So you'll get your net weight divided by 100% plus your 10% fragrance load. And that will get you your wax weight needed for the vessel. Because even though your vessel holds six um, ounces, you know, it's you. You also got to factor in your fragrance oil as well. So the the candle itself, you're not going to measure out six ounces of wax just because your vessel holds six ounces. You still need a little room for that fragrance oil. So once you do this math up here, that'll get you the wax needed for you know your candle that you're making that day. So after you get that, then it will be your net weight minus your wax weight. And then that'll equal your fragrance oil weight needed. So basically, after we do our math up here and we get our wax weight needed, we will take the net weight. And I already told you guys, so the net weight will be the 6 ounces, or in my case, it'll be 170 grams. So we'll get our 170 grams minus whatever number we got after this formula for the wax weight needed. We'll get that. And then we will subtract it. And after we subtract it, we'll have the fragrance oil weight needed so that's how we'll get our fragrance oil so i already did the problem down here so we have 170 grams which is six ounces 170 grams divided by 100 percent plus 10 percent and it equal to 154.45 i want to say but you can just round that up so it'll be 
0.5 grams, which will be your wax weight needed. So again, so in order to figure out your fragrance oil, you need to do this up here, which is your net weight divided by 100% plus your 10% fragrance load, which will be your wax weight needed. So right here will be your six ounces or whatever, how much your vessel is able to hold. If it's able to hold 10 ounces, that'll be the 10 ounces. If it's able to hold two ounces, it'd be two ounces right here. But in my case, my vessel holds six ounces. So we're calculating this formula right here for six ounces, which is 170 grams. So this will be 170 grams minus that 154.5 grams, which is down here, and it'll be equal to 100, it'll be equal to 15.5 grams, which is your fragrance oil. You guys see that? So after we did our math, we did our math. We knew that this was six ounces because that's how much our vessel was. And after we did this math up here, we knew that we only need 154.5 grams of wax for our vessel. And it equals to 15.5 grams of fragrance oil that we need. And this right here is at 10% because we have our 10% up here. So if you guys have 6%, whatever number you get, that'll be 6%. And if you guys want to check your work, you guys can always do 154 Point five plus whatever number you got and if it equals up to that 170 grams and you know your math is correct you know you guys did that correctly so again here is the formula if anybody want to screenshot it if anybody wants to screenshot my example if anybody wants to you know do their own example just screenshot my formula let me back it up a little bit here's the math so I just wanted to get into that because I know it's confusing. I know, you know, starting off making candles, we're watching other people make candles and we're watching what they do. And we're not really knowing why they're doing what they're doing. Or, you know, we don't even know if their math is correct. Like I made a mistake in my last video and, you know, someone could have took that and was like, hmm, I'm going to copy what she did. Not really knowing that I actually messed up and I didn't even realize until someone had commented. So I just wanted to get into that and give you guys um, the correct calculations. I wanted to give you guys the formula. Um, and if you guys want a better detailed video, I know on the Memory Box Candle Co. Um, channel, she has several videos talking about the formula. Um, just in case, you know, you need more details or, you know, you need somebody to explain it a little bit more better or if you need some examples. I know she has a recent one. I want to say it might be 11 months old, but then she also has some going back to like a year or two years or something like that. But again, I will uh, put this up there if anybody wants to screenshot what I did. I can also, um, in my video details, I can also put the formula in there. Um... Because again, you know, I'm not starting off making candles, but, you know, I know how it feels to start off and not really know what you do. And you need to um, get research and you need to somebody to explain to you how to do it. So that's really what my channel is for, to help anyone that's in need of, you know, making candles the correct way or, you know, needs someone to explain why they're doing what they're doing. So that's really what I'm here for. Um, so if anybody have any questions, you know, just message me comment you know i do have a business page my instagram page is at another candle burns my facebook is another candle burns my website is www.anothercandleburns.com we also have tiktok which is another candle burns so if anybody want to reach out to me have any questions you know i can go into details about this formula um so yeah so i just wanted to get into that so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for um coming back and subscribing to my channel and um also shout out to the person that commented um about my mistake because thank you because i did not catch that and again if you guys want to order anything on my website my website is www.anothercandleburns.com if anybody want to follow us on any social media network our ad is at another candle burns and again um if anybody wants to order something off of our website we do have a newbie code it's just newbie for 10 percent off of your order and again you guys have a blessed day bye